Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amster 2 again, where today you join me on Great Grundorf with this um, work in progress bus. This is, um, I'm going to go on and just make sure I get the right name of it. This is the Orion VIING. This is version 0.1 <coughs> of the model, and it is... It's made by, let me just have a look, because I can't remember the name of them. Um, <clears throat> it's made by, basically I've done just before this a work in progress video of the bus for those of you who saw it. This is made by PVTA 3307 <clears throat> So he's done an absolutely fantastic job of this bus. Um, so I'll just come off that. But today we are driving it on Great Grundorf. So basically what he's done is, since I made that video, like the day after, he's kind of released like version 0.1 of the model. The model isn't like really that complete. It's still a work in progress as far as I know. This is like the first proper model that this person's made. Um, proper kind of thing. So it's very basic and very work in progress, but he's done a very good job of it so far. And as well as making this bus, has also got another project, the CT um, fast track map, work in progress. So I wish him luck with that as well. So this is the bus for us to have a little review of today. So we're driving it on Great Grundorf 2. And um, we're driving the 73 from Nantes Pikes Buenoff to Buenoff Bay. So we'll begin. I don't know if I've switched electrics on already. So this is your F1 view. Um, so as I say, it's still like work in progress kind of thing so we won't be using the F1 view because the shame is is this kind of view just goes unfortunately behind the seat that's unfortunately not helpful for us but yeah we have all our different views F2 we have some really decent views around here I'm going to be using this one for majority at drive and let's have a look around this bus does include about four functioning liveries um, includes CT fast track and CT the other one, there's like a blue livery, um, and then two other liveries, and then there's one that just comes up as white, unfortunately. I'm going to be driving the hybrid version, um, hybrid sound pack of the vehicle, but there is another, just I think a diesel conventional one, that's still being worked on. It has the sounds of the NG272, but this is the hybrid one, so this is going to have the hybrid sound on it. So also, this is a little appeal for the person, um, just in advance for them. Because I asked, they do need help um, with images of the cockpit and I think other um, lens hands things from people who can make other buses. So if you do know how to make another bus, I will be leaving his channel in the description. So please do um, contact him and I think he'd be really glad to see. So it does need help with images of the inside of the vehicle as far as I know. Images of the interior seats areas and i think just some all-round help with it as well and some advice so please do check that out and give him a hand wherever you can so thanks in advance for that let's begin here we go there we go electrics are on i think the electric motor is actually pretty cool i really do so we'll just sorry about the lag in like advance it's going to be very 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 bad just let the electric motor properly This is the problem with these kind of buses, if you've like restarted it and then you put it all back into the originals Sometimes you can get mixed up with what controls you've got on and what you haven't And that was it Because I've just, I've previously driven a little run of the little part of the 73 So That's why, because I've just stopped uploading the passengers So I'll drive around to stand I know that usually drive with a free mode, but unfortunately, 
there's no other way. I didn't know the stand 73 was there, so we're going to have to park up like this. Something I absolutely love on this map. Oh, that's a weird sound didn't come up for that. Is uh, like all the sound signs and things. I think they're really cool. So I wonder why we're not scheduled to leave here for 31 minutes. I do wonder. Because I'm sure I'm scheduled here before that. Unless... I think I've confused and messed up the times. I need to change this to Grundorf Bay as well. There we go, perfect. Now will it reach from here? There we go, perfect. Something that I hear about this is that they will go on top of it. I know that this is an issue also from Kedalstone. They will go on top of that, but put it one way, that's only a, like a little defect to the actual fact that it's an absolute fantastic idea. So... Yeah, the um, structure, like the passenger structure on the vehicles at the moment, unfortunately doesn't really work. As of yet. Yeah, so people are stood outside. But to be honest, that is a little thing that for the, this is basically for the creator, something that I can do. Um, I know that I can probably, with this vehicle, or probably most people could do this, is change the um, passenger listings so that it comes under the seat of listings or a bus that's really small. Because, for example, I think this bus was built on the Citaro um, kind of body, the 05 Beta. So, I believe that um, you could change the passenger... Oh, I'm in lag. I believe that you could change the passenger um, structure. So, oh my gosh, this lag kills. But they change the passenger structure to the MC tail. Not that one. Go straight forwards. I do really apologise, as I say, about the lag because there's going to be a ton of air and play Gundorf, um, Great Gundorf 2 in absolutely ages, and I'm online, so it's like a triple whammy basically. So you just have to bear that in mind because this the game's absolutely rubbish at the moment. I don't know what it is about it, but it really is. Someone want to jump off? Of someone does. Anyway, my rear door's opening. There we go, yep. Unfortunately, like, the indicators don't work. I'd say the main part of this um, vehicle that's functioning is the body and the destination. That already, um, that already for any kind of bus designer is a very massive achievement to get a full bus structure um, in working. I think the main next thing is like the design of the cockpit, the um, interior and then the nightmare that is the scripting. So from what I've heard, I've never actually built a bus myself, but I've heard the scripting can be a nightmare. But probably one way, I'd say that the scripting to this vehicle could be mostly similar to the O5 and 20 the Cito, so but I don't know I'm not an expert when it comes to model making but out of all the liveries this is my favorite is this this also gives a little hint as to the other thing that this creator is making the person who's created this bus or is creating it is also making um, the CT fast track map as far, as far as I'm aware, I don't know if it's fictional or realistic or semi, semi both, but I don't know, but this is a little indie, this is the kind of livery that's used on that map from the screenshots that I've seen, so it does look really good, I do recommend you um, check out the Steam 
um, screenshots page because there's a few screenshots there and also check out his YouTube channel because he's got a few little sneak peek videos of his map that look really good. Oh. I think one of the also issues with the steering wheel is it goes back and forth, not left and right. So that that's just like something little, but to be honest, it's quite quirky and different. So I don't know. But anyway, put it one way: to say this bus is not like a conversion of, from any other game, and it's a full-on model I do have to say I think this bus is very very good quality do you know so it's especially a first time model it's good because something that I feel that obviously does miss out on is like until Chicago came out was an American side to it <clears throat> I didn't really to be honest no notice the American side um, until Chicago came out and then this LTS vehicle that I found before that so that was basically from what I saw was the American side and since then it has really expanded there's a couple of other um, American buses work in progress this one the American map that this person's making and then there's um, like the pairway Chicago with that buses so it has really taken off as the idea of um, the American and like USA kind of thing in OMSI so I think that that like new emphasis on on that kind of area within OMSI is really good and it does add like another area on the list onto where places you can drive because it's like America was quite a small area within OMSI small community same with like Australia that had a very small community um, and both of them quite recently have really have taken off especially like I'd say I go this way don't I? I'd say that the community um, for Australia has really taken off quite recently with Manly Act 1 and the new Manly Act 2 that's going to be coming out very soon hopefully so we've got those to look forward to we've also got the um, an Australian single decker to look forward to as well um, that's something else as far as I know there's basically Oh, what is it? The it's a bus that we've already had within. Oh, I'm looking at my view now. It's a bus that we've already had within Omsi, um, but it was but it was left on drive. It's a man, and the person is making it um, within Omsi for right hand drive. So it does look really, really, really good. Um, that was a lot of railers, but yeah, it it does look good. If I'm seem really tired and really repetitive, it's because I'm recording this at half nine in the evening and I shouldn't be doing that. Because I know I shouldn't be. But anyway, oh my gosh, lag. Lag kills. I didn't know the bus stop there. I didn't know. Eh. Yeah. Take a work first anyway. They would walk up to the bus if they were. But yeah, I'd say that this bus is a definite start. Looks absolutely fantastic. And I do hope to see um, this bus really expand and grow. But as I say, if you do have any kind of skills within um, creating things from say, do you know creating buses, like maybe scripting work, in, and especially I think what the creator is really trying to get at is the interior and cab design. Um, then please do let please do contact him because they said that it does need um, some help with um, cab designing, cab photos and interior photos is the main thing but I, I definitely would think that if you contacted him and offered help with anything else I think he would definitely be delighted to hear from you so as I say please do 
um, let him know if you do have any kind of skills in regards to the modelling bus kind of side of OMSI. So, but yeah, seems like a really nice different project and I definitely recommend downloading version 0.1, trying it out for yourself and supporting this creator and his model. It's really annoying not having F1 view, that is like something really annoying me, you know, the proper F1 view. But apart from that, I'd say this bus is alright. Oh my lag! I bet I'm going to be ending up staying in more lag than I am actually in game. I'm really, really sorry about this. Let's put it one way, I don't think that the game like records when it's lagging. When it lags under like 19 FPS, um, the game doesn't record. So as I say, when, when it goes under 19 FPS, the game just won't record. So I do apologise if there are big gaps within this. Um, I'll leave that front door open. But as I say, I've seen this, I've started like seeing this bus since it was first win work in progress. And I'd say that the bus has definitely come a long way since then. And the creators should definitely be very proud. I love Great Grundoff too, but I absolutely hate the lag that comes with it. I really do. So that's why I don't play it often now, because there's just so much lag. I usually go with other maps, but I thought, no, we're going to play Great Grundoff too with this bus, and we're going to try it out. I don't play Great Grundoff in ages, but to be honest, I partially regret that decision. And I'd have preferred to do play a game that was a bit less laggy. Map was a bit less laggy than this because this is just this is stupid is this it really is so you guys probably won't like see the lag but I do and then I'm complaining about it because me game don't record under 19 FPS and me recording don't record under 19 FPS you were thinking what the hell is he on about but I don't know I don't know how my recording work my recording studio to me is all magic all it is to me is just a load of magic. But put it one way, if you guys are seeing this video, then it's definitely worked and it's uploaded. If you if you're not, then you're not. So talk about best explanations ever. Sorry if I'm like uh, unorganised within lanes because I'm seeing these arrows at like last minute because I can't F1 view so this is like whatever you guys are seeing in the view that's all I'm seeing as well. Oh come on. I'm trying to think what the horn comes from. Like, I can't think. It comes, oh gosh, it comes from something. And I'm, but I can't flipping remember what. Apparently this route is supposed to be only about 15 minutes long. I don't know if that's because me... I don't know if that's because I've nattered on a lot on the FPS. Or this route is an absolute lie. I don't know which of the either. But I'm guessing the first one. Because I do actually recognise this. Take back what I said. This route 
is not alive. I think I do anyway. Yep, I do. I take back what I said. I like how that lady's just floating in midair, just chilling in the air. Yep, chilling in the air. She's not jumping on? No, okay. I don't move for people. I, I don't usually. Okay, I don't then. I actually know where we are. Must be near there. <laughs> yep, I know where we are. So that route wasn't that long after all. We just been nattering on and on and on. In my last video as well, I forgot my outro. I don't know why I did, but I totally forgot my outro. I just said thanks for watching, please subscribe, see you in the next vid. I was like, what? And I forgot, I forgot my line, I forgot my special line. I felt so buggered, I really did. I felt really annoyed. We the way we go. We got the first one. Oh, we get the yay, we get the right hand side. I practice some reversing in this vehicle as well. There we go. And we'll switch off the engine. So that was the um, 73 from Gwenoff to Grundoff. But basically the main focus of this video was the bus. So thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Please do check out the um, person who created this their YouTube channel. They do have some really, really cool videos on there. Um, showcasing this bus and their work in progress map so do check um, that channel out and subscribe and like and all that lovely stuff also if you can give him an hand with anything in regards to the bus or any bus modeling or any tips or anything then please do um, let him know in one of his comments or something so anyway thanks for watching please do like and subscribe if you do have a question oh my gosh that lady is so ignorant during my outro Ugh. Thanks for watching, please do like and subscribe. If you do have a question, suggestion, or need to download, don't hesitate to ask. That's it. Got it this time. And thanks for watching, and I do hope to see you in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.